Tonight, a South Lake family is pretty grateful after police helped rescue a girl who went on a, let's just call it an adventurous trip underground. A 12 year old girl and her sister, who saw everything, share their story tonight with our Alexis Wainwright and you. These two sisters have been in quarantine for 10 days. And after being stuck in the house, they ran out of creative ideas for things to do inside. But when they went outside to play, they were in for a scaly surprise. We just laid the board in. She like penguined in, like a little penguin. When it was time for their daily break to get some fresh air. They did that just like a million other days, except apparently this day, they, this one got the uh, genius idea to go skateboarding in the drain pipe. A few fun minutes outside quickly slithered into a nightmare for two sisters exploring in South Lake. So on the way back, I had to like move like this through the tunnel. Last time we did it, and it was kind of cool. It is her idea. So Tori and Carly show us the drainage pipe that they played in now twice. But Wednesday, while Tori was in there, she ran into something. At first, I was wondering if it was like a pipe in there, but then I saw scales and I was terrified. It was dark and hard to see, but soon she realized. I think it was like all black. Um, it was pretty big, so I didn't really want to go under it. And then the second snake I saw, it looked black and white. She got stuck in between two snakes and was too afraid to crawl past them to get out. So then her sister went inside to get her mom for help. I said, you know, listen, we can uh, call South Lake PD and they'll probably be here with, you know, the whole brigade in two minutes or less. Um, but there's, you know, a very good chance you'll end up on the internet tomorrow. Now, no snakes were harmed. And 24 hours after being rescued, their story was on Facebook. But their biggest fear wasn't going viral or the snakes. It was telling their mom what truly happened. Because she was probably going to murder us. And she probably still will. In South Lake, Alexis Wainwright, CBS 11 News. Tori and Carly, I think you're going to be okay. And here's the good news. You fessed up to mom. South Lake came and showed up and helped you out. Because had you called our chief meteorologist, Scott Padgett, <laughs> there'd be, there'd be oh. two of you underneath stuck in there right now. <laughs>